A subscriber recently contacted me with a question about BDSM. They wanted to know if it was anything like Fifty Shades of Grey and whether or not it was something that a good girl would participate in. So let's talk a little bit about it and let you decide. Before we begin, I want to point out that if you've read or seen the Fifty Shades of Grey series, it is fiction. It is meant to entertain and titillate, but it is not meant for instruction. In fact, many of the practices in Fifty Shades of Grey are done unsafely. So please do not view it or regard it as an instruction manual and do not try this at home. <laughs> So BDSM basically are initials that stand for a variety of different things under the kinky umbrella of BDSM in general. B stands for bondage and D stands for discipline. And bondage and discipline often go hand in hand. Now the S and the M stand for sadism and masochism or sadomasochism, which is inflicting and or receiving pain for sexual gratification. And the initials DS in the middle stand for dominance and submission, which is basically the crux of most kinky play. The reason the D and the S are so important when talking about BDSM is because you're usually going to discover that there is a top and a bottom. Okay, the top or the dominant is the person who is basically running the show. They are giving while the submissive or the bottom is receiving whatever the play entails. The most important cornerstone of any kinky play or scene is going to be enthusiastic consent. What I mean by enthusiastic consent is that both partners are knowledgeable and well informed of what is going to take place. They both are being safe because we want our play to be enjoyable with no real or true risk of harm. They're both sane, okay, meaning that they're not under the influence of drugs or alcohol. They're not um, being coerced, okay. Um, without consent, what is taking place is abuse or rape, okay. So if someone is coercing you, they're not being a dominant, they're just being an asshole because you need the play to be completely consensual. Again, consensual means that both know what's happening, both have set the boundaries or limits, and you may even hear what's called hard limits. That means absolutely no, okay? And they both have agreed on the fact that consent is revocable. Okay, that means either partner can stop a scene or stop the action of what's happening at any time. And this is usually done by the use of a safe word. And a safe word is a word typically other than no or stop, a word that you wouldn't usually scream out, okay, while you're engaging in somewhat risky behavior in order to stop the scene. Some people find it useful to use like a color code, like green, go ahead, keep going, this is great, yay! Yellow, okay, you're sort of hitting the boundaries, let's take it a little bit slower. And red, of course, means stop. So obviously this video has only covered the very, very basic definition of what BDSM stands for or what it means. So, to answer the question of whether or not a good person would do it, I'm assuming you mean would a religious person do it or a faith-filled person do it? Well, in truth, I think a lot more people probably practice BDSM than would know it or admit. Because, for example, if you said, oh, I've been naughty, maybe I need a spanking, that is considered BDSM. 
If you're in the throes of passionate love making and you scratch your partner's back or bite their shoulder or you know lightly bite them in different places, that is BDSM. Okay, that technically falls under this vast umbrella of bondage and discipline and dominance and submission and sadomasochism. I would also like to point out the fact that many Christian relationships typically are already dominant and submissive. Wives submit to your husbands, you know, and the man is the spiritual head of the household. So whether you would call it that or not, basically that falls under the de definitions of dominance and submission. And whether or not you take that into the bedroom, only you know, but um, that sort of power exchange that has been mutually consented to is BDSM. If you have any other questions specifically about BDSM, feel free to put it in the comments below or in the interest of anonymity, you are welcome to email me and contact me through my website at mickeyallencoaching.com. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for future videos and I look forward to seeing you next week.